everybody, it's Kim. I haven't seen you because last week we kind of took a week off. It was spring break, even though nobody went anywhere. Everyone stayed safe in their houses. We kind of had a week with no videos. But welcome back, and let's sing the hello song. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Hello, Tessie and Evelyn and Beckham and Veronica and Julia and Emma and Anna and Lily and Nora and Liam and Arohi and May and Emery and Rosalind and Pip. Hi, everybody. It is so nice to be able to do these videos again and to be able to have a little bit of school with you guys. So let's do the calendar, okay? The month is still April, okay? We haven't seen you since April 3rd, and let's see what today is. If yesterday was 12, hmm, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. If you said 13, you are right. Okay, so if yesterday was Sunday, after Sunday comes Monday, if that's what you said, tap yourself on the back. Let's be a little trickier. After Monday, tomorrow will be, if you said Tuesday, you are right. So tomorrow, today is Monday, April 13th. Okay, should we do Days of the Week song? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And I'm looking out and it's a little windy today. Last week, while well, we had no school, one day it was so warm it felt like summer. The next day it was cold and almost felt like it was winter. It's kind of spring around where we live. It goes up and down and up and down. And one day in my house, we even had really big hail at night that was really noisy and kind of bumped my car up a little bit, which wasn't so much fun. So let's see what we should do now. I think we're gonna do the mystery bag. Okay. This mystery bag is something my husband picked up. And I'm gonna be, I could do it two ways, but I think I'm gonna do it the tricky way. Because, you know, I always like making you think and kind of being, make it a heart. The first clue is it has four legs. Like, that could be a million things. There are so many things that have four legs. But try and think of a few in your head. Okay, I got a few in my head. Okay, the next clue is this one is black and white. They can be different colors, but this one is black and white. So it has four legs and it's black and white. <sighs> I can think at least three different animals, maybe four that are black and white and they have four legs. So that doesn't help too much. Guessing? The last clue is the sound it makes begins with the letter M. 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 Okay, it has four legs, it's black and white, and the sound it makes begins with the letter M. M. Let's go and see. Are you guessing? Okay, I hope you're all guessing. I want to hear some guesses. It is a cow. This is a very silly cow. This cow is in my kitchen window. I don't even know why it's in my kitchen window, but that's kind of where it lives at my house. It has four legs. It's black and white. And what does it say? Moo. So that was kind of hard, but I think next time I'm really going to get tricky. And because I think some of you might guess that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go for a walk. And we're going to do an art project. See, this is my house. Say hello, Kim's house. And we're going to go for a walk. And we're walking, walking. And I have an art project set up here. Okay, because you know how we like doing art projects. 
Let's see, I gotta move you back so you can see. Let's see, can you see? Let me move that. I am not this good with the camera. So I think now you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so remember I said we're gonna talk about butterflies this week? Well, today I'm gonna show you some easy ways how to make a butterfly. We can make the same butterfly three different ways because I'm not sure what art supplies you have at your house because I don't have all the art supplies at my house that I have it's in the blue room at school. So one of the first things you need is a cup of water. Everybody has a cup of water at their house. The next thing you need is a paper towel, just one piece of a paper towel. And I bet you all have paper towels at your house. And the next thing we need is just magic markers, a few color markers, okay? And I bet you all have markers at your house. So first thing we're gonna do is decorate this paper towel. And this is kind of like painting with a marker. And it's kind of fun, okay? You can really make pretty designs and you can make it look like you're painting, but you aren't painting, you're just using a marker. So if you take the marker and you dip it in water and you color on here, look. Dum, da, dum, 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 dum. Look, it looks like what? It looks like paint. So I take a whole bunch of different colors and I dip it in water and go dum da dum dum, dum da dum dum. And when you the wet when you get it wet, guess what? It looks like paint. I did this side a little bit before I started talking to you, and this is what I just did. And you can cover this whole paper towel with the green. Here's a green one with the real pretty colors. And you dip it in water. And you know what? When you're done and your marker dries, it will just be fine. You are not hurting your markers, okay? And make sure when you're done, you put the tap on and listen to the clip. And then you can cover this whole paper towel and make it really pretty and colorful, like a butterfly, okay? Then there's two things you can do. First of all, what you can do is if you really don't have a lot, but I know you probably all have a rubber band at home. You can take your paper towel and you squish it in the middle, just like this, okay? And it kind of looks like a bow. And you can put the rubber band around the middle. You might need a little grown-up help to do this. And you put it around the middle. And guess what? You have a butterfly. And once you paint it and make it all beautiful, it is gonna be really fun and you can have a butterfly. Okay, another way you can do that is if you take a paper towel and after you've decorated it, you can put it, tape it on a popsicle stick. Okay, and then you can decorate the popsicle stick with some eyes and some stripes and some, I made some X's, you guys can do it better and decorate it. And then if you had the pretty paper towel, It'd be another way of making a butterfly. The last way I thought it'd make a butterfly, and I'm just trying to think of things you have around your house. This is the inside of toilet paper. You can take it and you, after you make the paper towel beautiful, tape it to the back of here. Then you can decorate the front of this with eyes and some stripes, and I put a big smile on it. And then this is a butterfly. So you can make three different kinds of butterflies. One with a paper towel hold, with toilet paper holder, one with a rubber band, and the other one with a popsicle stick if you have it. Or you know what? You could probably use a pencil or anything to put in the middle. So, but I really would like you to make them fill the whole paper towel with beautiful colors and make really pretty butterflies, okay? Another thing if you have at home, you probably could use a pipe cleaner, but I'm not sure ever what anyone has at their houses because sometimes I find things at my house and sometimes I don't. And you know when we're at school, we have everything we need for our projects, but we don't always have it at home, okay? So you guys can make a butterfly. You can even make a whole butterfly garden. You can make a family of butterflies and you can make as many butterflies as you want and you can have a butterfly party. Okay, this book is called The Little Green Caterpillar. Okay, 
And the author is Avon Hooker, okay? And I'm gonna read you this book about the little green caterpillar. One day, a little green caterpillar was looking for something to eat. He licked his lips at the sight of a shiny red apple. I'll soon eat you all up, he declared. No, you won't, said a snail slithering over the top of the waving his horns. I got here first. The snail looks a little bigger than the caterpillar, doesn't it? Never mind, said the caterpillar. Here's a juicy golden pear. I'll eat that instead. Go away, buzzed an angry wasp. This is all for me. And the poor caterpillar wiggled away quickly. I think he's getting hungry. It's not fair, said the caterpillar. I'm hungry too. Then he saw a ripe red strawberry and crawled eagerly towards it. Go away, said the large black ant who had got there before him. This strawberry belongs to me. See the ant down here? Let's, what do you think's next? Where can I find something to eat in peace? Sighed the caterpillar. He climbed up a bright yellow lemon, but when he, at last, when he got to the top, he found a dragonfly hovering there, beating its filmy wind, wings so fast that the caterpillar was quite dazed and slithered down very quickly. He's not being very lucky, is he? Now the caterpillar found a glossy purple eggplant. Oh, I'd like to stay here, he exclaimed, but a grasshopper bounded onto the top, rubbing his long black legs together. He made such a fierce clicking noise that the caterpillar rushed off as fast as he could. In the field, the caterpillar found a mushroom. Ah, my favorite food, he said, hanging upside down under the mushroom cap. And mine, too, whisper came from the other side. Go away. This time, the caterpillar had been beaten there by a mosquito. And that was his favorite food, too, so it was kind of sad. From a long way off, a bright green, shiny pepper caught the caterpillar's eye. Mmm, I'll have a taste of that. Hey, chirped a creaky cricket. What do you think you're doing here? Clear off. Nobody will share with me, said the caterpillar. I'm so hungry. He tried to eat a glossy sweet chestnut, but a fat bumblebee appeared. There's no room for you here, buzzed angrily. Go find something of your own. See the bumblebee? He's not being very lucky. Plodding along at his poor aching feet, the caterpillar saw a round red cherry. It's gonna be it, I can have this. Only if I could eat this in peace. Ribbit, ribbit, came a horse crow, and a large frog glared at the caterpillar until he went away. I try to eat a bite to eat. Somebody else has gotten there first. Oh well, here's a nice large leaf. I'll spin a cocoon. Sometimes we call it a chrysalis at school. To keep myself snug and have a good sleep out of harm's way. And there's the caterpillar and he's going to make himself into a cocoon or a chrysalis. As soon the caterpillar slept on and on until white one bright sunny day, his cocoon split open and out struggled. Not a green and hungry caterpillar, but a beautiful butterfly with delicate blue and crimson wings. No more crawling for me, he cried. Now I can find something to eat whenever we want because I can fly. See, there's the cocoon of the chrysalis that the butterfly came out of. And he was happy because now he could finally get something to eat.
And that's one of my favorite books whenever we talk about butterflies. Okay, so here's a butterfly. And you know what we can say? Goodbye, blue room. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, everyone. It's time to say goodbye.